We're back! And it's finally Friday. Time to party! Random dancing. Random dancing. <laughs> It's a good thing Bethel allows dancing now. I think they need to ban it again after your moves. I'll go all dirty dancing on everyone. Nobody puts Lukey in a corner. Nobody puts baby in a corner. And now, for some real news. Last weekend our swim team beat Olivet. Take that, Press Chen. Breaking two records and setting five NAIA standards. And our men's basketball team picked up their 15th win of the season last Saturday in a win over Goshen. Speaking of basketball, tonight there's a home basketball doubleheader against Aquinas College. Our men's team plays at 5 p.m. with our girls team following at 7.30. Any mean or rude joke that you would like to say to any of that? No, why would you even say that? Because you do have a history of making fun of women's teams here at Bethel. Who, who me? Is, everyone, is that what everyone thinks on campus? I hope you're kidding. I'm not, but just know that if anyone wants to hang out tonight, I'm free at 7.30. There it is. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Go Week is next week here at Bethel. There will be a panel of students who grew up in the missions field on Tuesday night. Adam Foster. Also, <laughs> missions organizations will be set up in the D.C. during lunch every day. Take a look and find out how God is using everyday people to change the world. Do it. Go oh God. Amen. There will also be a special Vespers at 9 on Wednesday night. Plus, I heard there will be snacks at the missionary kid panel. Which means you can count me in. Really? Normally, I would say no. But I would feel bad saying no in this case, so put me down as a maybe. Speaking of snacks, pickleball <laughs> season will be finished next week. I see what you did there. Pretty good, right? I'd say. And the rest of intramurals will begin the week after that. So be sure to follow me on Instagram and leave a lot of likes. No, no, no. Follow Bethel oh. University intramurals to stay up to date, but also follow me on Instagram too while you're there. <laughs> now you're catching on. Uh, last week we asked some of you guys to send in some roasts of Luke. And we promise to read some of the best ones right here, right now. Here's Luke, trying to hold back tears. How does it feel that you've worked your way through every single class of freshman girls and still been unsuccessful? Luke Hilligans? More like Luke Hilligan. I thought he didn't even go here anymore. <laughs> he looks like Ellen DeGeneres and Tim Tebow had a kid. <laughs> You look like the type of person that pours their milk before the cereal. I don't eat dairy actually, so joke's on you. <laughs> He's the type of guy to ask you for your homework answers without even knowing your name. That one's probably true if I wasn't a health and uh, PE major, so. <laughs> His nickname is Peaked in high school. Luke chose the easiest major and the easiest sport and is still subpar at both. Thank you, I actually appreciate that. It's time to roast me. Send them to the same place and see them next week. I'm nervous. And I'm Luke. And this is Bethical News. Bethical News. You missed it. I didn't know it said both. <laughs>